Good morning, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for sitting so quietly. I'm so proud of you and your wonderful Pena Manners. We are here today for a very special reason. A special person is here to come talk to us. But I also wanted to introduce, we have a few of our school board members, Ms. Tracy White and Mr. Jim Crawford, who came to celebrate with us. And I would like to introduce our school superintendent, Dr. During, to kick things off. Thank you. Oh, it is a very special day that we're here today because, you know, you guys have been working so hard with your schoolwork, haven't you? You've been doing a really good job. And you know your teachers and your principal, they're, they've done a great job in helping you learn and know the things that you need to do to go on to the next grade level. So we're all very proud of you, and we're proud of your teachers and your principals and your cooks and custodians and everybody in your aides in the school who work with you to help you through um, school. And so our own governor is here today. He's here to uh, say welcome to you and congratulate you on your wonderful test scores and the fact that you work so hard in your schoolwork every single day to have such great test scores, probably some of the best in the whole state of West Virginia. And so he's here today just to congratulate you and say a few words. I do want to say to him that we appreciate his support for education um, over the years, what he's done to make schools better, to help us support you as you learn, to help our teachers in our, in our schools throughout the state of West Virginia, and to help the school districts has been second to none. He's been a very big supporter of public education, and we're very proud of that, and we're proud that he's our governor, and he's your governor. So allow me to please introduce your governor, Governor Jim Justice. Isn't it? 
best scorebook that you have. You know, one time when I got into office, we graded all of our schools in the state on a system that was an A through S system. Well, I didn't like that, and the reason I didn't like that was because of one thing, and that's just this. Most of the schools fell into the category of being a B or C. Well, we didn't want to tell everybody that all we were in West Virginia, for the most part, is B's and C's. You know, now, so we changed things. But in this balanced scorecard accountability system that we have today, now think about this, this is amazing to me. This year, there's only one school in the entire state, there's only one school in the entire state that exceeded standards in all five categories of the balanced scorecard. Man. Where would y'all think that one school was? Now, what I said a few minutes ago, not very often in this life are you going to end up the one school, the one person, the one champion. You're not going to end up that very often. So you need to be so proud, so, so proud of yourselves and all that you do. It's unbelievable. You know, this world awaits you. Before you know it, you'll just snap your eyes. My first grade teacher's name was Miss May. You know, that was 5,000 years ago. My second grade teacher was Mr. Shooter. You know, that was, that was 5,000 years ago plus almost. Now, you just think about it. Think about this. Before you know it, Maybe you can be the governor. Maybe you can be the next scientist. Maybe you can be the next leader in this world in every way. And it will happen because you're the smartest, you're the most motivated and everything else. And you know who you have to thank? You have to thank your principal, all these great teachers, all these people that want you to succeed. But it is unbelievable in my opinion, to be sitting in front of the only, the only school, the only school. I mean, you talk about champions. You are, you are superstars. That's all there is to it. And I want you to know with all my soul, I love you, and I love kids beyond belief. My gracious sakes, I can tell you so many funny stories about what's happening along the way with kids. You know, I've coached forever. I've been a teacher. I've been around kids in every way. And I mean it when I tell you that I love you. You know, it's easy. It's easy for me. And I'll bet you, you if you tell the truth, you just tell it. You know I really like you, don't you? Yeah. You know, you know, a long, long time ago, now just stay with me, a long time ago, I had a teacher and he walked into the class and he flipped these books open and everything, these great books from the last semester, last year. And he said, almost everybody in the class other than one in this class made an A or a B. And I thought, boy, this will be an easy class because everybody's making A's and B's. And then he peered out over his little classes and said, you see, I'm getting ready to work your hind end off, but if you don't make an A or a B in my class, then I feel like I'm not doing my job. Now, he was the best teacher I ever had. I'll never forget him in my life. His name was Dr. Robert Alexander. You know, in fact, he's still with us. You know, but what an incredible teacher. Now, let me just tell you this. Another person said to me just this, you know, said, you know, a lot of times kids can get really unruly and kids can be difficult, all those things that you can be. You know, you've got to deal with all kinds of problems today. And the problems that you're dealing with today, whether they be bad problems like drugs or things like that, not you maybe, but maybe people you know, 
Or it may be situations that there are situations that aren't maybe good at home. Or maybe you're just really hungry today. All those things our teachers have to deal with. Every one of those issues they have to deal with. And more today than ever before. But you know what the other guy said to me? He said this very thing about kids. Kids know if you like them. Kids know if you like them. And that's why I just asked you a minute ago. I said, you know I care for you and, like, and I like you, don't you? You know, and if you do, you'll love me back. I can never congratulate the teachers and all the great work, principals, you know, our superintendents and all the stuff that you do. It's just unbelievable. You know, uh, but more than anything, I congratulate you. Every last one. Now, who's the craziest one of you all? <laughs> we got we got a pair of this thing. <laughs> who's the silliest boy of you all? <laughs> Since you got red hair and, and one part of it sticking out the other way, you come up here. Now, what's your name? What? What's going on with your hair over here on this side? You what? I don't know. <laughs> what, what grade are you in? Kindergarten. Like A? Kindergarten. Kindergarten? Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, I thought you were like 15 years old. <laughs> How old are you? Five. There's no way. Who's your teacher? Is she in here? Yeah. Can you point to her? She's pretty good, isn't she? Okay. Alright, now who is the craziest girl in here? Now you get to pick the craziest girl. Oh, okay. Now, is she a girlfriend? two years old. he would be two in December. And when you ask him something now that he agrees with, you know, like you'll say, JC, you want to go to the Dairy Queen? He'll say, okay. You know, everything yes is okay. But if you say something like, you know, JC, we need to cut your hair. Is that, you know, do you, do you want to get a haircut? He'll go, no. <laughs> Man. Are you sure she's not a girlfriend? You're positive? She's pretty, isn't she? <laughs> you like saying you have one laughing? That means you're a lot of girl. All right, listen, man. You be good, okay? Really, really proud of you. All right, hop down. All right. It is Brandon. And your name was Emily? Emory. Okay, come here. Can you hop up here? Okay, the very first question I got for you is Brandon your boyfriend? No. Y'all both denying this. I think, when are y'all going to get married? Listen, listen. Do you like love school? Yeah, and you love your teachers? Well, I tell you, I'm really so proud of you. You are beautiful beyond belief, okay? You just keep doing great in school. Your little, your arms have little chill bumps. Are you nervous a little bit right now? Well, you just don't need to be nervous, okay? 
I'm so, so proud of you, all right? You're beautiful beyond belief. Keep doing the great, great work and be so smart. It's just unbelievable, okay? All right, hop in. Well, listen, let me tell you. And I meant this when I said, this is the best part of my day. I'll guarantee you this. It's super to be with you. It's unbelievable to be with kids that are excelling like you're doing. I could never in my life be more proud of you than I am. And I congratulate you from the bottom of my heart. And I would say, God bless you in every way. And keep pouring on. Just keep pouring on. Now, you got to come here and give me a group hug. Group hug. Come on. All of them. Progress and attendance. Way to go, guys. So proud. Of you. 